I'm going to design a mounting bracket for an electronics equipment rack uh, in solid edge sheet metal. And to start, I'm going to go over and draw a rectangle by center point using the origin as a center point. And uh, I'm going to, you can key in precise geometry or you can eyeball it for now. At this point, it doesn't matter because my design, I, I'm going to design as I go here. So once I have that, region. I can click on it to add that sheet metal thickness. And to create flanges I just click on an edge and I can hit space to pick up multiple edges and this small arrow will create a flange of whatever height I want. I'm going to say three inches. Now in solid edge you can put dimensions between any two points and those become driving dimensions. So I may want to drive my inside di um, uh, distance let's make that 20 inches or I may say well now it turns out that the outside of my flanges is going to be my driving distance so I'll just add another dimension there and that also is a driving dimension let's add some more flanges this time to mount this to a rack so I'm going to pick up on those edges and just pull that out maybe make that uh, two and a half inches and notice too if I want to dimension that uh, I can pop a dimension in here and notice that when you click to edit a dimension you've got this choice of arrows and, and what this means is that it's asking me to select which face it wants to move to accommodate that dimensional change so I can move the leading edge of that flange or I can move the adjacent flange to accommodate that dimensional change. I'm going to also grab this material here and just bring it down and notice that it's going to do this on both sides because solid edge detects geometric conditions and I just want to bring that in line with the bottom key point here of this part. Notice too that you can lock dimensions so that if I want to move this and this time I'm going to move this flange using the steering wheel which is another handy way to dynamically move something uh, and key in precise edits but it's going to maintain that three inch thickness as I do. Okay, so this is going to go in an equipment rack. We need some mounting holes. And because that's a pretty standard feature, my mounting holes aren't going to change, I'm going to go into my feature library. And what this is, is it basically gives us the ability to copy and paste features and then stick them onto other parts. So I'm bringing in that uh, standard mounting hole. I'm going to drop it on this face here. And I'm going to use my steering wheel to position that and line the center of those slots up with the center of my flange. So I'll pick midpoint here and I'll just find that midpoint. And then I'm going to go attach to create a hole. Now at this point I may want to throw some dimensions in and you can also stack dimensions. So I'll put a vertical dimension in there and then drop another one there. Now that distance between is crucial so we want to lock that one inch but then we can adjust um, this distance here. Alright, so let's select those holes and I can do that just by putting a box around them. With them selected I'll do a mirror command using the base reference plane over here and I'll let quick pick find that for me and drop those holes in there. Okay, so if you think about it, the size of this bracket is going to be determined by the size of the rack I'm putting it in. So really our crucial driving distance is in between the two midpoints of those slots. That should really determine the size of the rest of this rack. So I'm going to drop in a dimension there. And let's say that I want that to be 24 inches because this is going into a 24 inch uh, rack. So what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab all the material that I want to move when I change this dimension. And what Solid Edge is going to do is it's going to move that those features to accommodate this dimensional change and it's going to do it symmetrically because it recognizes those conditions. So I can drive that with a 24 inch dimension. Um, and, and notice what I've done here. I've driven the size of my design using a feature that I created much later in the process. This is something very unique to synchronous technology. I'm just going to swing around the back here and I'm going to put another tab. We need some tabs to mount our equipment on. So again I'm going to start my tab, my flange command. This time I'm going to set it to a partial flange with the material on the outside. And it doesn't really matter what size that is because I can come in here and I can drop a dimension in and say I want that to be one and a half inches and I'll lock that down and now with that set I can drag this grab this edge and just drag this sort of anywhere I want along this face